Welcome, everyone. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Stock Auction Review. The year is flying by, so make sure you don't uh, like turn around and discover you've missed out on another year of amazing trades. Our goal is to show you that it's possible pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday, because we believe in long weekends, to uh, make a good return on your money trading stock options. When you have the right knowledge, you have the right mindset, you have the right tools, you have the right coaching, you have the right education, you have the right tools to practice so that you can master it. Bruce Lee said, I fear not the man who has kicked 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has kicked one kick 10,000 times. And so this is kind of what we're all about, is showing you one way that you can use stock options to create financial freedom. And just by doing the same boring kick day in, day out, day in, day out. And it doesn't take eight hours of working in a cubicle and an hour and a half sitting in traffic on your way to and from work to do this. You can do it from the comfort of your home. You can do it on the road, traveling the world, wherever you want. You can have whatever lifestyle you want. And wouldn't it be nice if in 10, 15 minutes of uh, actual trading time, it may be a couple hours of being around your computer waiting for audio indicators to tell you maybe you should take a look. But rather than spending all that time working for somebody else and, and being frustrated because you're not getting your, uh, your life goals achieved. So I'm Scott Patton, your host. Joining us is Coach Jay. It's the 13th of March. Were we able to uh, make some money here? Yeah, we were able to make some money. And you got that right. Let's save the thrill seeking for another avenue, not trading. Goal is just consistent and boring. And, and that's exactly the way I like it. I've got other uh, pursuits that I enjoy to get the adrenaline going. I don't want that to happen in the trading room. Today, you can see that here on the basket, which is, uh, look, it's on five minute candles and it's looking at the entire day right now, just so we can get a general idea of what the day was like. We saw a little bit of uh, an up movement in the first part of the day, flat in the middle of the day, and a little bit of down movement, essentially gave back uh, all the profits that we, we gained in the morning if you were to just stay in and hold, kind of a, a general sweep of the, the market today. We have, I'm going to go to one minute candles and go back to the beginning of the day. We don't, I don't particularly like to sit in front of the computer all day and, and see the, see the whole day. I like to get my trading done in the morning and enjoy other things like my family. We've got NVIDIA here and it's making a little bit of a move. It's stalled out a little bit coming out of the risk zone. And we wait for the right moment to pounce, and here we are. We still got background, we got some K band, got volume picking up again, and it's holding above the risk zone. So let's jump in here by a call, and let's move forward. Nice thing is, is my filters are letting me know the way. I've got my filters coming on here. And for me, I don't care how longer this goes. This is where I would be exiting. We're meeting some resistance. And this would be my pre-planned exit. Also, you can see that this is a growing trend. So candles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, it, it, gets, it, it runs out of steam. Eventually, it gets big and then small. Or you could have a pretty quick turnaround sometimes as well, too, because there's a lot of volume on this last push. We've gotten a little alert here with the exclamation mark saying a large candle for the day as well too. So what that's basically signifying is that there's a change or something different is happening outside of the norm for the day so far. That's a good enough indicator for me to say, hmm, what's going on here and things have the potential to change. So I'll go ahead and close now with the 14% and let's move forward a few minutes to see if anything changes. And there it goes, turning around. That's pretty around. good timing. <clears throat> yeah, the, the system is what makes it easy. Being able to have the colors, being able to have clear indicators of, of when to get in, 
and a really good sense of when to get out really helps make trading not an adrenaline rush if you're confident in what you're doing and, and confident in the process and, and trust the indicators. And nice and boring, and this is about as, I mean, for me, this is just a, a really good trend that's a really good opportunity and is relatively obvious, especially with experience and with coaching. These tend to stand out pretty boldly. Awesome. And is there another trade we could have made today if we you know, slept in? Yep. If we slept in, got a little, uh, a little bit of a late start, we would have a pretty good opportunity that I think you'll enjoy. Let me pull up Tesla. Our friend Tesla, this is uh, crazy uncle Tesla, because sometimes it does erratic things, but sometimes it really provides some good opportunities. Tesla has been really fighting this resistance right here. This thing is just chock full of resistance. All these lines in here are all resistance lines. And so it's just kind of a cluttered mess. It's like a traffic jam, but yet you also don't know which way the cars are going to go, which lane's going to open up, all that good stuff. So we're just going to sit patiently, not get road rage or trading rage and wait for the, the traffic to open up and then take advantage of the opportunity. So here it is beginning to peak out a little bit and give us maybe some momentum. And let me change my candles, starting to get a little cluttered in there. All right, that's a little bit easier to see. And we're gonna pop out. And we're using move. three minute candles now to sort of smooth it out. Yeah, smooth it out so we can get through all the clutter and it's a little bit easier to view while trading and while kind of analyzing. And we're getting closer to that lunch hour. So sometimes it takes a little bit more time for things to develop, maybe or maybe not. Kind of that early lunch hour time frame is, you know, kind of the maybe the tipping point. It kind of depends on the day, but with how much resistance is going on with Tesla today, it's better just to clear some of that out. And we just move forward. And right here, we've got another volume spike and we're meeting our resistance. We can all, I shouldn't say always, lots of times we can expect some flutter, especially on some of the a little bit longer trades. So this is pretty normal. We've seen how far it's already moved that we can expect this. There's no volume associated with it. But then once we have this nice volume spike here and we're meeting a resistance point, pretty clear indicator for me to, to want to exit here with 11%. And I know you like to go forward a few and see where this one goes. It starts to just hang around that whole dollar amount and goes through. And good for it. I'll take my 11% without having the stress of this weight for more of a percent. Plus there's a decaying factor of, of time as far as options go. So I don't really want to sit through this mess. Just go ahead and get out here when, they, when the getting out is easy. All right. And was there any other trades you wanted to show us for today? Yeah. If you were a little bit later to the party, there is another opportunity. I'm going to go to five minute candles. And this is the kind of that longer trade that, that I was talking about before. Let me back up here. Apologize for that. I got a little happy on the trigger there. Roku. Roku. And here we are. Ways TV. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. We look left and I don't see anything. There's no candles. We're breaking through this support line, so we've got a good um, new territory. And new territory tends to get people excited or emotions lead to momentum for a stock sometimes. And this people are paying attention to certain things, and this is a good opportunity to get in. Wow. 
sort of like once you've got through the bottom, uh, nothing stops you. Nothing stops you. It really kind of just drops out. It's like a, a hole in a bucket that ends up getting either more pressure to push through or it ends up breaking part of the bottom and more of the fluid or whatever you got in there is going to be busting out of the bottom, creating some momentum. It's kind of pulling it with itself. So here we are. I'm looking at this. It's hard to see on your screen, but I'm looking at this seven day break below. And I, I have a sneaking suspicion that this may provide a decent level of support. And this has gone on a decent amount. We're at uh, 26%. So without being greedy and being happy with what I have and not risking a turnaround, I'm going to get out of Dodge and take my 26% and be done for the day. And we can move forward if a couple more. And it does continue. Look at that. Oh, kind of sucks back up a little bit, but it does end up breaking through. You should roughly. have made a couple more percentage, but you'd have been biting your nails. Yeah, it's just not worth it. The risk is just increasing when you know that it's potentially going to struggle at a certain point. Why risk it? And that's pretty huge volume spike. Yeah, the we got a big volume spike. And we've also we've also ran 140% on this daily range. So let's just not push it. We got 26%. That's right. <laughs> let's enjoy ourselves. Nice. All right. So let's we, pull up the uh here's the summary, Scott, if you can if you can read that. Sure. So Nivia, we uh made 14.3% in three minutes. Roku was 25.7% in Looks like 11 minutes and Tesla was 10.5% in nine minutes. So pretty good. We kind of made our, we sort of have a little goal of 10% in 10 minutes of trading, not 10% in 10 minutes of looking at the screen. We don't have opportunities coming quite that fast, but that makes for a pretty good day. It's also time for lunch. And then you got the afternoon to look after your fitness or learn something new or volunteer and help the world and do whatever it is that you want to do. And you can feel good about yourself because you've made a pretty nice little increase in your capital. All right. Yeah. The, the kind of lesson for this is uh, don't get greedy. Go with the known. Don't enter into a risky unknown for a few extra percent. It's not worth it. <laughs> That's right. I like, as I like to say, it's the, the horse race where your your horse is second, and you're just yelling at it to go faster, and and uh, no possible reason why it's going to you know be able to beat the first horse, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. come on, another two percent. Like, no, that's when your greed comes up, and you're going to probably lose some money. So. Yeah, yeah you're going to be uh, you're going to be having to trade all afternoon to make up for your loss. <laughs> that's right. Awesome. Thank you very much, Coach Jay, for sharing this with everybody. And thanks for joining us. This has been the Dave Trader Genius Daily Review for the 13th of March, 2019. If you want to learn more, there's uh, links in the description. We've got a 10-day trial, so you can try the replay, see for yourself how, how it works, work with one of our coaches, and, and learn the, the whole system and the program. And then when you're ready to go live, of course, will be a little bit longer than 10 days, I'm sure. We're there to support you now as well. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.